Hey guys, hope you're doing well. So today I will be swatching for you guys my black purple foundation sticks that I have with me. I currently have just six because I just wanted to test them out and see how it looks and if it's actually good. And so far so good. I'm actually in love with them. That's why I'm coming here to talk to you guys and inform you guys about them. So if there's anyone out there that is planning on starting a freelance makeup especially if you're more if your clients are towards the darker and warmer skin tones and with different undertones with red undertones with brown undertones with yellow undertones with orange undertones with cooler undertones that was the main reason why I got them and we all know that foundations out there are not cheap or well, some of them but I have to tell you guys that these foundations are really affordable okay in Nigeria here is about two five, I believe, thousand five hundred. I'm not too sure, but something around that price range. But over in London is about six pounds. Sorry, it's about eight pounds. Um, I got them in London. I didn't get them here in Nigeria, but I got one in Nigeria, and that was because I didn't have my makeup with me and I needed the foundation to use. I was like, let me just try it out. And I loved it, and I used it on today as my foundation and highlight i didn't really come to it. another reason why i got this foundation was because it's a creamy foundation so you can build them up as much as you like if you want a lighter coverage you can get a light coverage if you if you're doing like a shoot or a video if i want a full very full coverage you can go for that it will give it to you rather than like you know more of, more of a liquid consistency i love this the creaminess it's just so beautiful and it blends so beautifully it depends on how you blend it though i'm going to be making another video on how i apply my cream um cream foundation i'm going to be using it as my foundation highlight and contour so if you guys are interested in watching that please make sure you subscribe to my to my channel and stay tuned for that and also don't do this video if you did like it i also forgot to mention if you guys do want to see pictures on the swatches if the video quality is not good enough for you and you want to see pictures you can head over to my blog which i'll be putting the link in the in below in the description bar and i'll put it right down here somewhere let's just get right into the video and i'll see you guys in my next video take care guys and don't forget to subscribe to my channel bye um, first I have with me, I believe, I'm not too sure, but I believe this is the darkest shade. I'll confirm if that's right or not. And this is Black Walnut LC4. And yeah, this is Black Walnut right here. And you guys can really see that. It's really dark. So the next shade I will be showing you guys is Carrot C55. And this is the one I actually use for my everyday going out regular day contour and this is covered right here hopefully you guys can see that this right here is um, nutmeg HS5 this is found this is a shade I use for my foundation that I this is the shade I actually got in Nigeria this is what I use for my foundation next shade is topaz this is more of a lighter yellow undertone ish foundation shade as you guys can see so this is this shade right here is rich caramel and this is very close to pretty topaz But this one has more of a cooler tone to it. As you guys can see, they're really similar. And this is the lightest shade that I have with me. And this is Kalahari Sand JJ4. Um, I love using this one for highlight when I'm going out. And that's what I use for my highlight today as well. So yeah, these are the six shades that I have with me. If this is not good enough for you guys, I will be putting a picture in my blog. Do make sure you check it out. And I'm going to pull them out again. This is Black Walnut. This is Carrot. This is Nutmeg. This is Truly Topaz. This is Rich Caramel. And this
this is Kalahari Sand. 